<laughs> You're dead. What to do with do guys today? We got a GVG and I'm pretty sure you guys saw all the buff changes. So I'm gonna just quickly get right into this because you guys probably won't my opinion since you guys probably saw a lot of videos, but you know, I don't have anybody to play with specifically, but we're gonna play with Flurry just because I saw she was on a list and I was happy about this. LQC, she get a station on S3, which is actually good. I wish I got the combat rating this, but changing the defense from to crit is actually really nice, even though she don't really technically need it. But I guess it will help out if you have an SSS LQC, because 99% of the time you run Hellcutters or something like that. I run Hellcutters because I don't have anything else to give her. I might just give her something else. So she don't need that much crit chance, but hey, now she's the go-to the dark units, just like how LQC is the go-to for counters. LQC is the is the dark is the dark unit destroyer. And I like how she has a station only because of uh, Abyssal Euphine. Top model Luluka, I do like they take the soul burn off her S1 because 99% of the time you never use it. <laughs> Even though I guess you use it with like 50% HP and you want to actually kill him, but it's actually great. Her S2 is now uh, you know a barrier, and you know if you want to use it, if there's not a C, uh, a buddies. Mm. And her soul burns on her S3 just to kill somebody, which is actually really great. She get an attack buff and then she S3, so she don't got to trigger something like Celine, Bunnies, Victory. What was that? What is Celine artifact that you usually run on uh, ML Celine? I forgot what it's called, but just to not push people up and just activate random things. But you know, just go and just force palm. You don't got to worry about random things or things taking off your attack buff. You just S3, get an attack buff, and kill somebody. Wrecking on Rana, I, don't, I barely see her. I think I saw a video where people are concerned about the not can only be activated once per turn. Instead, they worry about that they can like, do a cheese where they can get like A lots and lots and ZL, and you just constantly keep pushing her up. And I was like, why not? That seemed like fun. <laughs> It's better to have some fun in the game than just, you know, even though it might be really annoying, just like when Elvira was unkillable. But it's, it's great to, you know, see some different team comps besides seeing, you know, Aiden, Candy, Arrowell in, this, in every game. Not, now we see Leia, because Leia is actually a really good girl. But, you know, it's, it's great to see some different comps, see some working around. I don't mind if, if they actually do a cheese on Infinite Loop. It'll be interesting to see it if it, like, you know, you watch out for it. But it's actually pretty great. And also, S3 Dispel 1 buff is actually, uh. Hmm. <laughs> have fun with that, I guess. Clarissa, funny enough, I still play with Clarissa. I do have a build I show right after this. When they mean Defender, we said that skill cut out, so it's great for one shots, for waving one shots. I don't use her my waving one shot because I use somebody else. But I just use her in RTA, by the way. And increase the chance of 70% defense break. When enemies defending, we set the cooldown, which is actually really great damage dealt increase. I wonder how this damage, like, I'm more curious about the damage dealt increase because I like Clarissa and Sober S3. It actually hit really hard. But the thing is, they also buff rage, so that's also pretty happy when she gets it. So, Clarissa might be a, a hidden gem that I'm going to be playing with. Flurry, uh, flag resource reduction on target by 40% when you use a light step on the caster's turn when it's on turn. So, you can't just bring Elbris so and she just. Slap your uh, <laughs> slap your rage and focus and whatnot down. Well, well, focus because it's on, it's on hit, not actual resource, but rage and uh, fury and stuff like that. Hmm. The funny thing, I do have fury. I mean, flurry, and I want to see flurry to come back because one, she's still a scary unit. A, a free a free S3 that defense breaks and provoke and provokes and it doesn't connect, so you don't gotta worry about 50% all the time. I think do you still gotta worry about 50% with a burn? I think you don't because it doesn't connect, right? You just it just gotta have enough effect that it actually connects. Having this is actually really great. You just slap um you fiend down because you fiend is generally slow. Same with Landy. They're both usually slow, but the counterattack and stuff is gonna be painful, but you just keep slapping them down if you don't have a burn. It's a free option. And then the rage increases by 10% more when you get rage. So Clarissa will have 20% increased attack and 20% increased speed when she kills something, which is actually really nice if she kills something. I feel like I cheese this as RT by just force forcing to get a rage. But there's also other units that also have a rage. Well no, they change uh, Corvus to Indomitable. <laughs> Stuff like that. You know what? We're gonna find some more people with rage. <laughs> Please tell me they're gonna bring a messy change, specialty change. <laughs> if they're 
changing her constellation at least. Come on, March 14th, so let's get into the GBG. I thought I'd show you my stats of the US I said, right? So this is my flurry. She is 243 on a counter set, by the way. So yeah. I do have high speed on counter set because everything seemed to be rolling speed. I do have a 21 speed counter necklace, but I don't think the extra 10 will make a big difference. Will it? Or will it not? I was on her, never mind, it's 23 speed. Uh, two, 254, but I want the HP because he's not really damaged to her. We give it up, we take it away from Rin. But the extra, you know, three speed won't make a big difference, but oh well. But she is here to slap people in the face and throw birds. <laughs> we might keep her on Elbers, but we might just keep her on her, but we might just put on something else because usually that probably will hit Flurry, right? We can put her, we can take her from Rocket Punch or we can give her something like a Proof of Valor or Adamant Shield so they don't hurt the rest of the team. But anyway, let's get into GBG and see how well we do with Flurry. All right, game number one. We got Jekyll, Elagos, and Bloomin' Lydica. Jekyll is not that fast, so you guys want to try to put somebody back because I forgot. She's on a race set with only 181 speed. But looking at this soft team, the old fast speed, probably Zeo, and these two, and Sharoon if you have a barrier, so. Um, let's put Bloomin' Lydica in the back. Yeah. At the bottom, we got Flurry, like 243 speed, and then. It's full effect res, 200 effect res, solitary, it's on 230s. Oh, Flurry's faster than them. Uh, Flurry, I think Spaz is actually like base speed. 209, okay, so. Flurry fastest, solitary, then Spaz. Let's hope, <laughs> let's hope Karina doesn't, you know, uppercut my team into the dirt. That's what I gotta hope for. <laughs> because it'd be really bad. So I'll send her back because she's the second the highest speed we're gonna shoot her just because one i wanted to i wanted to get pushed back and i want the immortality we're gonna do this hopefully put the debuff on everybody i honestly feel with a rage set we can one shot her but well, she's pushed back and you know let's do it especially with her artifact right she should just die You don't want this. You don't want these cookies. <laughs> They're a week old. <laughs> these cookies are stale. Ugh. Chuck them out anyway. <laughs> oh, that was great. That was fun and quick. Now Flurry. This hurts. So like I said, Flurry is still good. Even without the damage reduction, but she'll be good against this. Even though she reduced combat ratings by 50%. So she don't get the combat readiness by 25% when she S1s and stuff like that. But when she Albert, she pushed up a little bit. But a free defense break out and double clicked. A free defense break is a free defense break, right? So here's the thing. We're going to see if we can stun her to get the stopper from reducing the cooldown reduction. And then Spence will do that elimination thing I heard so much about. No holy sack today, sorry. Boop, boop, boop. Counters. Wow, that's a magical. <laughs> All right, we're going to slap her. A two-turn provoke and defense wreck is actually amazing. But the fact that she actually connected and she countered. I said, you better not, de you better not defense break with 200 effect res. I'll kill you. All right, Spez, I need you to kill the kid. She's going ham a little bit too much. That proof of valor will not save you. Sorry, girl. Boop, boop, boop. Also, I'm going to say, also, why is she attacking uh, Flurry even though she's Earth? I thought, I thought Earth has the advantage. I thought she was going into Spez. I guess because she's, a, I don't know. Oh, did she counterattack again on the first hit? And did she? I need <laughs> wait, wait. Have I been playing this game wrong? Do I just have an elemental advantage over Earth, or am I just imagining things? Resist. Hmm. This Karina is wild. Okay, kill her. She's doing things that she's not supposed to be doing. <laughs> 
I know she was provoked. I thought she was dumb. But I think she, she she wasn't provoked anymore, right? I must have been thinking. I, I mean, I must have saw too many debuffs, but she got two defense breaks connected twice in a row. On to the next game. Alrighty, we got game number two. We got Flurry. Uh, who are you? Belota and Ocean Breeze Lulukai, which she's not on 90 set because I'm too lazy to actually upgrade her gear and or find better, but she has 214 effect res with so Constellation, so that's an extra 30. So that's 240. We could do this. Two, 250 won't make a big difference. If she get debuff, I'm gonna cry. And then we also have Bologna, which I honestly, she's on an injury set because I'm too lazy to put her on an actual good set. She's 1200 HP, 1200 defense. Good thing we get a buff, we get a, a, a hump buff this weekend. So I am gonna be farming for her. On top of that, I am gonna be switching up some units gear because I'm happy for those buff. Uh, I didn't, I didn't show you guys Clarissa because I don't think I'm gonna be able to play her because every defense has a abyssal you fiend and a candy and I can't crit. But here's Clarissa's gear. Don't look at my Mickey. She's being built too. Uh, where's Clarissa? <laughs> there she goes. She's on a Unity crit destruction set with uh, Benny Morrow Tachi. We're trying for the last game, all right? But that's Clarissa. <laughs> and then bottom we got Ren. I mean, yeah, we got Ren, Top Model Lulica, and Solitaire. Hmm. This is my Top Model Lulica. She's on book because I was messing around with, uh, what's his face? There we go. He's up top. With Zeo. And, you know, he's going to be in on a revenge set because I just have a bunch of revenge set because I farm nothing but Cadiz, really. So, I push him up, Soul Burn with the S1 and stuff like that, and hopefully push up. Ludwig, but this is her gear. She's usually on Vivian's artifact, Dingus Orb, but I feel like we don't do that. Considering that uh, we don't need the S2 or S3, so I might actually put on a different artifact. She get this S3 because she get an attack buff and not to worry about the increased damage for the next S3. But it's still great if he, if there's not a bunnies running around. And we also got Ram, so just because the fist breaks and whatnot. Hopefully we actually be able to land. Not fear. I like how Flurry's the fastest Seizing one on my victory. team. <laughs> on a counter set. <laughs> I won't fall. Just a moment. So we're gonna S3. We're gonna get her a free truck. Hopefully it connects. It might not show that much effectiveness. But if she does connect, that is actually amazing. So we run them over. Please don't stay resist everywhere. Cool. Just like we practiced. She's silenced. But I feel like she's more of a threat. No, she's gonna go straight for her because she's the only non-Earth. You know, like I said, free defense break. Uh, boom, boom, don't salvo. All right, you do what you gotta do. We get a free thingy by bobbers. With S2, uh, I should probably put Molagors into this girl, but I do it later. I don't think my S3 is gonna kill, as you guys saw my like. But a defense break is a defense break, but still, I don't think I'm gonna be able to kill with no Molagors. Am I? Oh wow. Okay, cool. We do have, like I said, we do have injury, so her damage is slowly getting well down, but we're gonna die in a process. <laughs> we're gonna die in a process. I hope this job is a little easier. Can we get a dual attack? Another Quite one. A little harder, Flurry. Wait. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> Wait, why did Flurry take another turn? <laughs> or was she just that fast? Wait a minute. <laughs> if I'm missing something, it been a while since I played Flurry. So, did she just take another turn because she was that fast because of the, cause the combat rate of this? Or did she just feel like it? I'm not gonna trigger, well we do have an extra chance, but we're gonna do this. We're gonna soul burn and heal up. Don't ask to that. She did ask to that. Well, we got the Elbers. Slapper. Okay, good. So we could probably just do this. If we get an S3. Don't you heal. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Flurries go wild. On Yo, I might find more counter set to try to boost her speed on the counter. Can you even read 
Cause I didn't expect it to take another turn. I wanna throw a bird at you just because it's the best bird of the game. She's the best tank when the freight game first released. Boom. She resisted it, but that's fine. I only flare her, she only has a soul burner and birdie, so we're gonna just boost this up because there's only two left. And then we'll probably just skip ahead because it's gonna be a while, because Flurry's gonna slap him. I want you guys to know that this her S3 used to be on a three-turn cooldown for you guys there and do. Is it, no, was it on, I'm pretty sure it was on a three or four turn cooldown. But the thing is, since she, everybody built her to speed, she can permanently CC you, and then there's nothing you can really do about it. <laughs> Back in the day, it's like, oh, <laughs> Flurry's throwing birds and you can't get out of it because she just right. swims fast enough. Show me what you can do. But anyway, we're not going to S2 just because she's right behind us. Do we so bird S3? We're gonna soul burn S3. Counter attack. Please don't minus attack. Minus attack on the one person I didn't want to minus attack. Okay, we're gonna S2 because, you know, we took her extra turn, get rid of the minus attack. And then we're gonna S3 her. We're gonna take a giant fist to the face. <laughs> Just like Patrick said. I was 93% crit chats. So I'm gonna see if we can stun her. <laughs> well, we do miss crits. There, there is time to miss crits. Well, that's the only time we can actually kill her. I'll take down anyone who interferes. You know, might as well. How should we do this? Get rid of the ice cream cone. Counter attack the first hit. Please stop that. Okay. <laughs> That's all for it. We missed a... We missed a 7% crit chance. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> Alright. Game number three. Last game. Flurry Lena and Benny Maru. Bottom, we got Bromaine, Solitaire, and then we're going to bring Clarissa... Because this one didn't have a candy, so at least she have a chance at bot. <laughs> We've been having her fun, so he's on Abyssal Crown. You know, 158 effect risk at 235 speed. He might not be able to outspeed her, but you know, why not? Why not? Let's see what we can do. First, I don't have extension, so black. <laughs> but you guys know what she does. She spins the win, literally. It hurts. Can you connect to her? We got the Elvis, which is honestly great. Just like we practiced. I honestly don't want to S3. Oh god, he's about to die. I don't like everybody has a Senya Lilius comp, so I don't want to S3 because if she does S2, she'll push up and then S3 and then Benimar will die. So it's there. We're gonna do this. We have increased hit chance though, so the chance of me uh, missing a crit is like astronomical. We can get rid of Ran immensely. Let's just click her. She might be a uh, full DPS Lilius, so that's actually really good. <laughs> so she might be a full DPS, so she might not be that tanky, so. Hey, Everybody boom, boom, get him, Flurry. <laughs> Flurry scoot it up. That's why she best girl. That's why Clurry best girl. And a provoke, boom, counterattack. Bro, I am excited for this Flurry. Like, I'm, I'm excited for Clurry to come back with the research reduction. She's not a bad tank. She's like Airwell, but green. <laughs> And have other like sources. So I just say, I really don't want to S three. So we're gonna S one to see what debuffs we can put. Can we debuff her? No. We have enough effect on this. So. I have no more business. Ow, oh, my HP. Now I used to have turn. one. 
Here's the thing. I'm looking because like something is loading. I don't know if recording stops. But here's the thing. She's gonna add strength cleanses off. So she won't have this and she's gonna go before. No, this pushes back. No, the S won't push back. You know what? <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this. Do I have enough? He's gonna die. Oh no, we got this. Thank you. Do we S3? Yeah, let's S3. We got nothing from that. Goodbye, Romaine. Goodbye, my sweet prince. We're gonna hit her. Knew that. <laughs> we're gonna hit her, and then we're gonna hit him with the the twinkle, twinkle little stars. Now we're all dead. <laughs> I knew we're not gonna win with Clarissa because it's not during this time when everything is. I'm basically feeling candy at the moment, so anti crit and stuff like that, and she don't have a chime. So. <laughs> but we do one game of RTA since it's Friday. First Friday, baby! Alright, so one game of RTA. Let's make this quick. Or we're gonna use Clarissa. We already know Flurry is really good. I don't know if we're gonna bring Flurry here. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh, we're getting somebody in gold. One bad, one bad LHC. Just in case if we do bring up, end up bringing Flurry, we could uh, not get ourselves killed because she might counterattack the one time that I want her to counterattack. So I'm gonna just first pick Flurry. Fight a little harder, <laughs> Flurry. There we go. We first pick Flurry. And that's how you know it's gonna be a start to a good game when you first pick a unit that you don't normally see and then now they're gonna be like, what do this character do? All right. <laughs> I don't think I can bring Clarissa into that team comp in all honesty. So we're going to have to go with just the counters to his units besides his flurry, which is pretty much just there just to be there. But Kitty Clarissa. Hey, I am. I approve. <laughs> I got rid of Bibby. But that might be fine in our books. The first one on my team is Bloomin' Lydica, so... We'll see how well this goes for us. Oh, she S3 first. I like how Flurry's the second fastest on a counter set still. That, that always get me! <laughs> that she's the fastest <laughs> on my team on counter set. <laughs> Alright, so the S3... We're gonna do this to push us up and or give them, you know, clear this all off. We might get counterattacked and stuff like that and give them skill nulli, dragon knuckles, counter, good. There's no debuff that we get. Uh, so she's, it doesn't really matter just because one, well, um, we have, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna knock this. Dragon Knuckles again. Yeah, damn, that's a maxed out Dragon Knuckles. I I give it that. Are you maxed out Dragon Knuckles? <laughs> or are you just getting real lucky? I'm gonna put a debuff. This will trigger Bloom Lydica thing. Uh, we can't really attack it against her, but we'll just do this for the skill nullifier because we haven't do that any. You know, anything else, really. So when she S3, she clears his all off. But she can't S3 and kill anybody right now. Which is honestly good. And Flurry S3 can strip off her evasion, too, if he doesn't silence her. Okay, he's going for Flurry. I think he noticed. <laughs> I, think, I think they noticed. Yeah, beat her up. <laughs> Don't silence her. <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> All right, Flurry, just be fast and I watch this. It's about to be zooming. My girl Flurry about to be zooming. I just want to go home. 
We're gonna do this. We do still have skin of a fire, so I'm not gonna risk a dragon knuckles into the skin of a fire knockoff. Oh no. We could uh silence her. Which is honestly great. I think he did oh, quick. How <laughs> can really you not want to show kids get beat up the most? I, how come the unit I want to showcase the most get beat up at RTA? I say one game, and the second I do one game, they get focused. <laughs> I know the skill level of fire, because I beat up everybody else, but still. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy this GVG slash my opinions on the, the, the balance patch, which I'm actually really excited. It's not like a big balance where everybody get like plus 50 damage, and now you have skill level fire, and you can't crit, stuff like that. It's just a... You know, a balance of damage for units and then a balance of damage for like mages, constellations. So maybe, I'm, ho I'm hoping Loach is not a mage. Actually, I wouldn't mind if he was like a, a mage, uh, a, a melee mage. Kind of like, you know, he just, he sees as a physical mage or something like that. <laughs> he doesn't have a blade, he has adaptive damage. So that I, I'm thinking about a different game. But, It'd be cool. Lush is definitely gonna be a warrior for the wild wild dog company. And now I'm gonna build Dingo again. Well Dingo has his gear. Sid is already built. But when Locha come out, oh, it's gonna be a grand old time. Hope he works well with Dingo. But anyway, hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. See you guys around. Peace.